Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Early Career Academic. On this channel, I explore how I use the Passion Planner to set personal and professional goals. In this video, I'm going to be planning out the week of May, I think it's May 6th through, no, 7th. Ooh, I need, I need my calendar. I can't think y'all. Um, through the 14th, probably. <laughs> Um, so that is what I'm going to be doing today and before I get started I just want to say that I am a passion planner ambassador there is a affiliate link in the description of this video as well as a discount code um, these links and codes do change every so often so check back on the about page for the latest link and code um, or you can always message me leave a comment if um, the link or the code doesn't work for you Thank you so much for being here. If you get a chance to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, I really do appreciate it. It always makes my day. Um, so thanks for uh, thanks for being here. All right, let's get into it. Um, so I am planning this a day earlier than I normally would because I'm going out of town for my sister's graduation this weekend. So yes, I'm planning out the week of the 7th through the 13th. <laughs> Um, and um, so I'm filming this on a Thursday here so that I um, know what's happening next week before I go out of town. This week is going really well so far. I love the color blocking theme that I chose. I think it's just gorgeous. It just really pleases me. Um, and for context, I'm using these little rainbow um, space stickers as a guide for the color scheme. That's why um, I would say the orange and the red look very close to each other because that's kind of how they are in the rainbow. Um, stickers. I just think it's turning out really cute um, and I will try to post uh, a reel or something on Instagram so you can see the finished product um, if you you know want to see what the end of the week ends up looking like. This has been a challenging week because we have ongoing water heater issues. The water heater itself is doing fine now but um, as a result of bad installation the um, the garage below the water heater and the floor of the water heater closet have sustained some damage and now the company is giving us the runaround. So typical residential construction bullshit. Anyway, um, so I'm trying not to let it get me down and in the end I know we'll figure it out, but it's just not what I, not, not what I need at this point in the semester, I'll tell you that. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about um, this coming week. Sorry, I had to take a second there to um, grab some things. Um, so, in this week, I'm going to continue kind of with the moody theme that I've got going on lately. Um, I was thinking to myself, like, what other stickers do I have that kind of um, have a black backdrop? Because, you know, I'm just kind of liking it these days for whatever reason. So I was like, oh, right, I have um, It's in the Stars Passion Planner sticker book. This is Zodiac, basically. Um, and there are some like pages in the front which don't correspond to specific signs, but um, since we're in tourist season, as the internet keeps reminding me, um, I decided I'm going to go ahead and use this page for this week. I just think it's so gorgeous, like these combination of colors. It's also kind of springy, like it's got a springy vibe thanks to the green, so I thought this would go well. Um, I'm not like a huge believer in astrology per se, but I find it really fun to read my horoscopes. And um, I just really like these colors in particular. Um, and we are in Taurus season, so I figured it was appropriate. Um, so I'm gonna use this sticker sheet and go ahead and take it out. It's just easier to work with that way. And um, to supplement, I am going to bring in some of this gold foil washi and maybe this geode washi. I'm not sure. It's like not an exact color match to the screen. So I might just be sticking with the foil. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, also, I need to grab my functional stickers. Let's see what we're gonna use from those. Now I have a ton of meetings this coming week, so I'm thinking we're gonna do some meeting scripts for sure. Yeah, okay. So let me get out my um, whiteout tape. I'm gonna need my glue stick and my pen knife and my tweezers. Okay, so I'm putting these here to remind myself that I have meeting stickers. Um, this coming week is when the 
deluge of meetings happens. I've got like all hands meetings, some like smaller group meetings. It's just a lot of meetings. And it kind of continues that way through May. So you'll see my spreads get kind of like fuller than they have been with like scheduled items. And I'm stressing about it a little, but this coming week, I'm very thankful I have some support from my family. They're going to be helping me with Freya on two particularly challenging days. So I'm feeling good about that. I'm feeling very thankful about that is what I should say. You know, I think I, what I might do is grab Like, I would do like a layering thing. Let me make sure I pick the right kind of green though. It's kind of a blue green. Maybe this. Yeah. I would say more green than blue if we're talking, if we're going there, but not like as bright or saturated as it could be. So I'm gonna do some layering. I think that will look really cute. Um, yeah, so that's, this week's going to definitely have a bunch of ch chonky meetings scheduled everywhere. Um, and also final grades are due this week, so the one good thing about that is that, you know, kind of, um, frees me up from my teaching obligations for a minute. I know a lot of my colleagues don't turn their grades around that fast. Like they actually, some of them take the entire amount of time that the registrar gives us to turn in final grades. Um, but I think here's my take on that. Like the one upside of teaching a writing intensive project-based course where you don't have an exam per se is that you are able to, like the, the final work for the class can be due in the final week of class, at the very end of the final week of class. And um, and then, you know, you can obviously either take your time grading those final projects um, or, you know, kind of like sprint through, I don't mean to say like not paying attention carefully, but like kind of chunk it out, right? Um, so you can like spread it out or you can like tackle it all at once. And I think it's, um, it's, as I said, one of the advantages is having the work, the final work due in that final week. And if you're not taking that advantage, then, you know, you, it, it, it can feel more, even more overwhelming than it does, than it is to teach a class like this. So I always have my students turn in their final projects in the final week of class. I think they like it too, even though they are all stressed out right now. Um, but then my class is essentially off their plate, right? And they can focus on their other classes exams instead of having to finish our class project and study for their exams at the same time. So, um, and then I have more time if I need it to grade them or, you know, I have them ready to go if I want to just tackle them, you know? And so I think that that's like preferable in my opinion to the other options that we have. Um, I'm going to go ahead and t glue in my habit tracker here. I want to put like washi down here, but it just, it'll take so much time to put, to cover that whole thing. One of these days I'm going to do it though, but I got a late start into my daughter's nap. Um, and I just, I'm worried I won't be able to finish what I absolutely need to do before she gets up. So I would like to just press on and keep it a little basic. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the next week sticker in. This really does help me like plan out. Do I stick it here or here? I think I'm gonna put it down here this time. Okay. <clears throat> now I got my meeting stickers and I think I actually think this like cursive script is the way to go this week. I think that's, yeah, because it kind of goes with the script in these stickers here. 
So that's what we're going to do. Um, I also brought out my green mild liner because I think it goes really well with the green in the stickers. So let's take a look at what we've got going on this week. Um, so the 8th is, the first meeting is 10 a.m. Yeah. This is a meeting where we talk about our prom upcoming promotions and what we need for the portfolio. And then we have the next meeting is one of those like smaller meetings, like smaller admin meetings. Is it an hour? I feel like it is not, an, it's more than an hour. So I'm gonna block out some more time knowing this person that I'm meeting with, it will be as long as humanly possible. Okay. And then I've got, I'm going to watch. So like our, our um, institution is deciding like what student learning management system they want to go with. And, um, there are demos this week. for each of the platforms, and so I'm going to sit in on all of them if I can. At least have my headphones on and try to pay some attention to it because I would like to see what the options are and have input if um, they give us the chance about which platform we're going to do, so. This is the canvas one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think that looks really cute. So we're gonna replicate that. The next um, day is 9 a.m., 2 p.m., and 3.30. Told you there were a lot of meetings. I just forgot it. <laughs> I just said it and then I forgot it. 2 p.m. I think that's like these meetings are back to back. I'm gonna go ahead and s I'm not sure how long the last meeting will be, so I'm just gonna block out this whole time here and come in with my meeting stickers. These are super cute. These are from the Aesthetic Studio, by the way, if you are interested. And these are actually, these two meetings are in the same, using the same Zoom, so um, I think what I'll do is, um, this is Brightspace. So then I have my 2 p.m. is, and then 3.30. And then next day is 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 4.30, 3, ooh, interesting. Okay. Is that 4, 11, 30, 1.30, 1.30, okay. <laughs> Can't read my own handwriting. So, hang on. I have some thoughts from my therapist this that week um, it's just been like kind of a crazy I'm only meeting with her once a month these days um, so I feel like there's just a lot every time now <laughs> because there's so much time that's gone by it's like a lot and then probably not as much as it would be if I was meeting with her more often because I forget like there's definitely times in, in the moment where I'm like oh man if I was meeting with her today uh, but then that moment passes, you know, so really like the stuff we talk about tends to be like built up stuff, you know, um, stuff or like persistent stuff, stuff that's not going away, um, or like stuff I'm trying to figure out how to handle. Um, and she's my postpartum therapist. So 
like a lot of it does have to do with, you know, being a new mother and stuff. But some of it's not it's like a, a like. In fact, a lot of it these days is less about that and more about other stressors. Um, so she helps me figure, like, figure out what I'm thinking about those and helping me with strategies. So. And then this is 1.30, this is Blackboard, yes, demo. And this is our last, um, is it 3? I think it is 3 p.m. faculty meeting. Oh, that day is going to be horrible. Too many meetings, too many. And then nothing on Thursday, oh, good, break. And then 10 a.m. and 2.30 on Friday. Friday. At least the 2.30 meeting is like one that I actually look forward to because it's writing group and I love my writing group. They are amazing. Although sometimes the meeting that happens, uh, our meeting that happens around this time gets canceled because, you know, this is a really busy time of year for everyone in higher ed. <laughs> so I totally understand if they don't like need to cancel, even though like for me, by, by this point, at least I will have my grades in, but then we all have different schedules. Um, so I get it, but it's just nice to see them. It motivates me for sure. And it's just fun. It's just like a nice to have a fun meeting on the books. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, and then I, um, I am going to see my grandmother for Mother's Day weekend. It's always nice going to the West Coast from the East Coast because you gain time. So you get there like still early, even if you left. Like even if you didn't leave right at the butt crack of dawn. Um, so that's nice when that happens. <laughs> but then coming back sucks. <laughs> and we're, we happen to be coming back on a later flight because my uh, my mom arranged it and she was like thinking that we wouldn't want to, especially with the baby, like having to get up at 6 a.m. or whatever. There's upsides and downsides to both um, of those things. So it's not, it's just traveling with the baby is always hard regardless of the timing. But it does give us more time to like get our stuff together in the morning and Um, which is fine and more time too with my family like just because we are going for such a short trip so it's kind of nice to get that morning time with them before we leave um, yes I have I already have filmed my videos for next week feeling super on top of that <clears throat> because I knew it would be um, kind of crazy with everything, with like going out of town for my sister's graduation and stuff like that. Um, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and put a little note. I think we'll probably leave like sometime around here, so we'll probably be home. Sometime around here. Home. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think this is looking nice, if I do say so myself. It's just really pretty. Even if I just kept it here and stopped, it would look cute. But now we're going to come in with some glamour. Um, oh my gosh, so many cute stickers. So many. Okay. So before I cover it up, let's look at the quote. The beginning is always today, Mary Wollstonecraft. Make a mind map of five things you want to improve on. What concrete steps do you need to take in order to achieve these things? Write them in the... So that's kind of like what my habit tracker does a little bit. 
it's you know definitely things I want to like do more routinely um, because they help you know they help me be the best version of myself and um, so that is why I do them stick this here I could stick it here you know I, I don't use all the personal space like personal to do space anymore so um, I love this like little hand holding the flower I think maybe in here would be good a place to put that so pretty so pretty and I love this teapot I love it I love how moody these stickers are. I love the crystals. Um, my husband likes crystals. In fact, he has one right here on the desk that we share. I think this one is to help with anxiety or something. That's what I think. I feel like he told me that. Um, so sometimes I catch him like holding it when he's especially anxious. I don't know if it helps. I mean, I don't know. No, like I, it could, it could help him. Um, he's kind of an anxious, like pers like personality, and so, for all I know, it could be even worse without the crystals. Um, but you know, far be it from for me to begrudge anyone's, um, like anyone's, you know system for dealing with anxiety. I honestly, if it helps, I'm all for it. As I said, I'm, I'm not personally, um, you know, really into astrology per se, uh, but I do find it interesting to read the, my horoscope every so often and um, I just think it's it's an interesting like very human thing that we do to like contemplate the fates right like what is affecting us on a daily basis and so I like it for that reason for thinking about it um, in the in that context, you know how how um, humans perceive what is and isn't in our control. I really like that one, even though it has no green in it, and it's just like intense. I just kind of like it. But where do I put it? Is the question. Maybe it's like a lot of like the bull over here. But maybe over here. Angled? No. I think we're up and down here. He's looking at us straight on. He or she. It's got to be a, a he, right? Because of the horns? I don't know. I am not into animal husbandry, as you can probably tell. Um, if you didn't get a chance, I did post a video on my... Um, my academic sprint wrap up so you can see how I did or if you're interested in that you can check it out um, it went really well I thought um, considering everything that I had going on it was kind of pleasant um, to see that I made so much progress and um, that I was able to do more than I normally do, even in a really busy month. So that made me happy. I kind of avoided putting a lot of the stickers with the pink in. I don't want to overdo it. I think it looks really nice. I could put like some of these little star stickers as, I don't have as many though, because I used some of them already. No, I think I'm going to pull back on the stickers. Yes, yeah, I think we're looking good here. Look how cute it is. I love it. See, let me do the shimmer. Shimmer, 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 shimmer. See, so beautiful. 
Um, so I think that's going to go. And there's plenty of space at the top for my to-do lists every day. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up by writing down some things I know I need to remember to do um, next week. So I have the my final announcement that I send my students. I will submit final grades. And I'm just writing down the three classes so that I keep track of which ones I've done. Um, we're, I'm just trying to think for teaching related wise. I think that's it for spring classes. Let me just see. Then there's probably some admin stuff that will come up in all these meetings. But so I will leave space for that. I do want to, I didn't talk with my, I forgot to talk with my group last time about um, a writing retreat, but I do want to talk with that if we meet on this day. So I didn't, I don't forget that. Um, I will just have the one video that I need to film for next week because I've already done my other ones. Then there's, um, I'm going to finish up some things related to Mother's Day. And then I need to pack again <laughs> to go visit my grandma. We will definitely need some groceries next week. There's probably going to be stuff related to the stupid water heater. So I'm just leaving some space for that. I don't really want to pile on in this week. There's just a lot of meetings. Um, let's take a quick look at my May to-dos. I actually did this one, and we are doing this. And I did most of this. I'm still waiting on those things. I have no idea what this signifies. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Okay, working on that stuff. Um, the only thing I could start this week that's on there, so I'll put it as a, as like kind of an option, is. Um, put together my schedule for one-on-one -on -one class in the fall because I need approval for it because apparently I am a kindergartner who hasn't been teaching first year writing in 15 years. I mean, who has who has been teaching first year writing for 15 years but still needs oversight. Yeah, I'm just I'm having a challenging relationship with my workplace right now. This week's focus grades and <clears throat> intro draft I want to send it to my writing group that's a goal okay yeah and then I'll pop my habits on here but you don't need to be around here to see that I think that is it for this week um, <clears throat> so Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Hope you really enjoyed this sort of moody astrological spread. I really enjoyed putting it together. I love all the meeting stickers and I just love all the green. I think it's super cute. Let me know in the comments um, if you uh, what you have going on next week. And if you also kind of follow astrology and how much like stock you put into it. I'm just interested to know. Um, and thanks again for watching. Stay tuned. I have some more fun planning videos coming up next week. I'm going to share my summer goals with you. I'm going to share um, an update on my 23 for 2023 list. A whole bunch of fun stuff. So anyway, stay tuned. I will see you back here soon. Bye.